Now that we have the authentication system in place, let's just have a look on how to protect our views. So what we want to do now is just create a new uh, link here to a new page and then how we can do to what we can do to protect it and how it's done. So first thing inside core views, let's create a new first a function based view, then I will show you how to use with a class based view. So secret page. So just a very simple HTML page. Let's create now a template. It's going to be extends the base. like that. Now we just have to create a URL pointing to our view. So we can put something like path secret then views dot secret page and the name secret. And uh, maybe now just a link here just before the change password. Okay. So what we have now, secret page. Yeah, maybe the yellow wasn't a good idea after all. So just remove it. So we have our secret page, the change password. Now if we log out, we don't see it here, but then if the user types the URL, they can still uh, see our page. So what we can do about that is to use a view decorator. Also from the Django contrib out decorators name login required. So now we can decorate all the views that we want to protect with this uh, login required. So what it does is a simple check on the uh, user that is in the, the context and see if this user is authenticated. If not, we'll just redirect to that login page. So now if we try to go again, then Django sends us to the uh, login page. So the nice thing is that it handles properly the, uh, the query string. So what's going to happen after I log in, it's going to send me to the page that I tried to access there. So another way to do that is using the, if you are using class based views, something like secret page and template view. From Django.views generic Let's just use the same oops And then let's create a new URL, something like uh, path class, oops, secret to and views.
so now maybe we can just add this new page to our menu class based view so we know it's the other one so we have here oops i think i missed a slash on the url yes so here i'm accessing it it's the same template but then if we log out and try to go to secret then it goes to the login page but then the secret too is not protected yet so it's just rendering the template so if we want to have the same effect we can use um, this mixing login required mixing so we can just copy it and now we should put it as the first one so that's very important to have the login required mixing as the first one in the list of uh, classes here so if we save and try again now just refresh yep sends us to the login page so let's try again secret true maybe if we log in again yep and that's basically it